yourself suffice Your time is money, so your wealth is life What up, y'all? It's Self Suffice, the rap poet You're watching Visual Caffeine Peace from Visual Caffeine. Here we go with another dope episode. My man Self Suffice from Hartford, Connecticut. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm going to do as little talking as possible on this one because my man does a lot. Mm -hmm. And we're going to let him talk to the people. But Good before job. that, we're going to start at the beginning. Self Suffice. Where does that come from? Is it self-sufficient? You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you are. Yeah, so, self-sufficient yeah. is definitely where that comes from. Self-suffice right. is like a shortened version of self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. But that really came from the era of like independent, right. backpack, everything like that. I had a bunch of names boom like Boom Bap. Boom Bap, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? It was like a big movement about being independent, being, being on the subways, running around, hopping right. things, you know what I mean? So you didn't want to be... There was actually a point where people didn't want to be signed. I know that sounds yeah, crazy yeah, no, right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, like, I actually got offered a deal with Def Jam, and oh, I turned wow. it down. What? Um, but say, I, wait, I wanted that. Say that again. That. You got a deal with Def Jam? Yeah, when they had JMJ, rest in peace. Remember right, right. JM Master yeah, yeah, J yeah, yeah. from Run DMC? That was the one that 50 Cent got as well. Um, but, yeah, you know, I was battling, doing the showcases, shows, and stuff like that. My homie Del Daniels, um, I did a program with him. I ended up going to Def Jam and, and auditioning. I was producing my own beats at the time too. Word. And um, they got back to me. It was like, yo, we offering you a production deal. Mm. Which a production deal is kind of dope because instead of like, you hear about all these horrible advances people right. get, a production deal is actually money. Like they giving you money, they letting you produce stuff. Okay. Um, but my pops passed away. A few different things happened. You know what I mean? I got the chance to go to get a scholarship, go to college and everything mm. like that. Okay. Um, and people know my whole brand is like that's me like mm -hmm. when you figure out what you do it's hard to it's hard to do anything else so I right. had the opportunity to go to college or do the record deal mm -hmm. you know what I mean and I didn't want to stay in my mom's apartment in the peas right and no, acting I, like I got you I got it made when right. it's like my brother still lives there to this day it's wow. a small apartment you know what uh -huh. I mean I was able to get out because uh, this was in the LES where I'm originally okay. from the Lower East Side you know okay. what I mean but that's how I ended up out in Hartford Connecticut and I realized, like, it's mad diverse. It's right. black people, Latino people, right. and all these people from around the world. But you wouldn't know that on a college campus. Right. So once I came off the campus, I was like, yo, this is like the LES. This is like that. But it's, it's smaller, mm -hmm. but it's more segregated. Mm -hmm. So I felt like I brought that New York vibe to the Hartford area in terms of the belief of, like, yo, we need to bump into different people more. We don't right. need to be so segregated. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So that, that's full circle. Like self-suffice doesn't mean to yourself. It doesn't mean selfish. Right. It means like do your part in the pie. Everybody right. has a part in the pie. Everybody has a part in the puzzle. Right. A lot of times with people of color and poor people, like we, um, we try to take the blame for society's troubles. Like I'm not going to use paper anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. And it's like if you're not a corporation... Like, it's very little you could do as an individual to solve the world's problems. Right. But if you can be great at something as an individual, uh -huh. you can influence these corporations yeah, and these groups yeah. of people. You it know what I mean? It takes a while, but yeah. It takes a while. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, uh, culture doesn't sell like that, unfortunately. But, I mean, you're doing your thing. I mean, so, I mean that goes back to the, the element of knowledge in hip-hop, self-sufficient, self-suffice. Right. That comes from Marcus right. Garvey, doesn't it? Yeah, Marcus Garvey. I mean, you could go back to Egypt. You could go back right. to Kemet. You know what I mean? But we got a shout out to John Robinson. I know <laughs> you're supposed to be here. You know what I mean? Travel is crazy. Yeah, I got yeah, I yeah, caught yeah. up in the traffic on the way here too. So yeah. shout out to you. I'm glad you're safe coming through from Atlanta. But um, yeah, you know, going back to Egypt, like self suffice. There's so many references to the same thing, but. It's just a concept that I feel everyone could relate to. Like right. everyone has your your regular self you present to people, mm -hmm. but you also have like a deeper self. You right. know what I mean? You you also have an idea of what you're gonna become. 
You know what I mean? And for those who's already distracted on what's around you, it's very hard to become who you're supposed to. Right. So that's that's really probably the number one message I would say from my name for the youth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, take take a breath, take some time to look within yourself right. into what you can become and where you can go because nothing around you is going to lead you there. It's right. actually something inside right. you right, right, that right. gives you that vision to go. Yeah, places. I mean, brothers got to travel. Yeah. Brothers got to travel because if they don't go nowhere, Eddie Griffin got a joke. He says, hmm. brothers on the block called themselves universal and never left the block. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I do, personally. And I know, I know, I know exactly I know what he's saying, brothers. too. Never, I know it was funny about New York being such a cosmopolitan mm -hmm. spot. Like, it's people from all over. It's right. poor, rich. You can see everything in New York. But I know people in the LES where I grew up. They never left the block. Right. Like right. they've never been a few blocks down where you could see anything. They never been in the financial district. You know wow. what I'm saying? Wow. That's crazy. I mean, it, that's that's New York anyway. You got the financial district and then you got people, you know, sleeping on the street there too. Mm -hmm. So I mean that's New York. But uh right. self that 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 that's one of the dopest names I've ever heard because it describes you, so many things. Right. And it, it brings back to, to the culture of hip hop. That's what it is. It's not just the flash and all that. It's actually going inside yourself and bringing that out and showing it to other people. Thank you. You know, I mean, uh, if it wasn't for hip hop, I wouldn't know all the things about Marcus Garvey. You know, I mean, right. my, my, my parents were political, mm -hmm. but I learned more through hip hop, through KRS-One. KRS-One. Brothers like Respect. you, John Robinson. I mean, right. all these brothers out there, there's talent out there that doesn't get the uh, record label recognition. And that's mm -hmm. why people like you are so important. That's John right. Robinson. I mean, you know. He was just saying even minister servers on right, a stamp he's on a now. Stamp. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It may take a while, but if you do things correctly, you uh, you could at least support your family. And like what you were saying about travel, I feel mm -hmm. like it ties into it too. Because like it's sometimes like say we was touring in Russia. I know y'all mm -hmm. shout out to everybody in Russia. Kruta, you know what I mean? But um, all my brat times shook, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, the exit. Hip-hop's got this brother speaking Russian right now, you know, you know what I'm saying? Mean? But it's like, when I when I was in Russia, mm -hmm. I would see certain words that the MC rocking with me would say, mm -hmm. and I would get the meaning from it like that. Mm -hmm. It's like any country you go, if you try to read what's on the internet, and you try to say those words, nobody talks like that. Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? So when you talk about self-suffice, it's like, we don't tell people when we go to other places in the world to sound like me. Right. You don't have to sound like you from Hartford or the LES. You know what I mean? We want you to take the principles. I want to see you sound like you. Right. I want to rock with how yeah. Russian hip hop puts the twang on exactly. it. How Tagalog, you know right, what I mean? Right, if we right. in the Philippines, yeah, how right, they put right, it. Right, right. That's what I want to see. I want to yeah. see how you use the same freedom right. to express yourself differently. Yeah, I, I saw a couple videos of, of the B-Boy battles in Russia, B-Boy, oh, B-Girl battles. They incorporating Russian dance with yep. that. Yep. And that's the way it is. Like with, with, yep. with so-called graffiti writing, people in other countries are incorporating their their calligraphy into it. Their their languages like uh, you right. see pieces in, in Arabic. And, Which is already beautiful. Yeah. I mean so it's imagine crazy. that with graffiti. Right. That's right. so a no brainer. It, it's coming. Making the most of my money, energy time A lot of people say spend it all and I'm not one of them Don't take for granted any one of them Opportunities to expand on how the funds come in Pay for what I receive, invest the rest in my ability to achieve and over deliver Believe when I perceive a blessing, I appreciate it indeed Easy come, easy go, but you know the way to succeed Take it slow, get it? I ain't trying to fix what ain't broken Keep going for the goal where I aim to go and keep going for the goal where I aim to go and keep going for the goal where I aim to go and get it. I ain't trying to fix what ain't broken. Get it? I ain't trying to fix what ain't broken. Stay away from those motivated with greed. Make the dough same way as the day before. No need for fixing if it ain't broke. When you confident in your inner, that haters can't provoke. Knowing that it's okay to fail when you on the way is long. As I make sure to learn from my mistake and grow. 
grateful for what I got But when I see new opportunities, I take them So on top of what I'm making hope Best believe I know that I can always make some more Keep going for the goal Where I ain't to go I ain't trying to fix what ain't broken no, like me. I ain't trying to fix what ain't broken I ain't trying to fix what ain't broken I carved out a niche, no reason to break the mold But if it fit, I grip a new opportunity, take control It ain't about who you know, it's how you relate to those It ain't what you know, or if you educated, where they ain't go Cause I came with an overdose of information overload Until my attitude became gratitude Now everything I have is appreciating more Now everything I have is appreciating more now everything I have is appreciated and keep going for the goal where I aim to go and keep going for the goal where I aim to go and keep going for the goal where I aim to go and get it I ain't trying to fix what ain't broken keep going for the goal where I aim to go and keep going for the goal where I aim to go and keep going for the goal where I aim to go and when it comes to what I know I don't need consulting He just ripped it. I can't believe he did that. Yes, That's sir. like getting that blue cheese for the chicken, man. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you, bro. My, my man goes off, man. Sell Suffice, Heads from Visual Caffeine. Mm-hmm. My man from Hartford, Connecticut. Yes, Actually, not just, he, he from By Universe. way of LES. By yes, way of sir. LES, the Universe, my man Sell Suffice. Yes, we're going gonna to break it down a little bit more. All right. Living in Hartford, you do a lot of work with education. We, we built on education a little bit before. Of course. When, One when of the elements of hip-hop, exact, definitely. Exactly, and that, that's what we need to bring out there more. When you see kids like in high school that ask that may ask for advice, do you, do you recommend college, or is it more like life lessons, or is that just something that could be attached to your life lessons? or What, what are your thoughts on going to co- college? It's funny, I'm thinking about this with my own son right now, mm. because on one hand, I know I didn't learn a lot of the conscious things that I use now in college, right. but I did learn a lot of the unconscious things. Mm. And it's hard to explain to kids how you're going to get unconscious things from right. a certain environment, but it's a lot of networking and a lot of connection things and a lot yes. of things you don't have to say mm-hmm. if you go to college. One thing that's real simple to understand, bro, mm-hmm. and it's sad but true, like, you're not going to create generational wealth or become super wealthy Mm -hmm. by going to college or doing anything right like it's 0.9 percent less than one percent of the people hold the majority of wealth in america you got to understand that on the other hand that being said Mm -hmm. that's true on the other hand we got 25 percent of people of color in poverty no regardless of education Mm -hmm. 21% 21% of people not of color just in general right. who do not have a diploma are in poverty. Mm. So by getting that degree, that's a quick step to right. make sure that you're not in poverty. Right. It's a card on a poker table, basically. Facts. In the game, yeah. And, and it, I would be, it would be wrong of me to tell somebody not to do that. You right, know what I mean? Right, and right. it's funny, actually. I dropped out of school. Mm-hmm. So after I had the death jam thing and everything, I had dropped out of school for a year. Mm-hmm. Um... And I was rocking with Jessica Care More. If you're in the spoken word scene, you know my sister Jessica Care More. Slam, Slam Movie, Slam Nation. Saul mm-hmm. Williams, she put out his book. You know, she signed the Kwali's label now. I was rocking okay. with Kwali. He's the first person that really put me on shows oh, that's what's at Inkiru Books. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Um, shout out to Mrs. Green and everything. But like, I would be performing with them, and these were people I looked up to. And I would hear them say, like, yo, one day I'm gonna go back and get my degree. Mm-hmm. So it was like, wow, like there's something about this college thing where you don't need it to do what I want to do, mm-hmm. but there's other things that people don't see where it is helpful for. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is what I would say, though, like be interested because right. whether you in college, whether you on tour, whether you in Wall Street, like I've had a lot of different jobs. I've tried a lot of different things. And one thing I've learned, like right. if you're not in it yourself, right. 
you're not gonna prosper right, at it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Same thing I learned about promotion. Now I, I just got a hundred thousand plays on Spotify this year. Oh, man, it's amazing right. for me. Right. No, that's I got beautiful, I got bro. ten thousand plays wow. on a song for the first time. That's what's up. And this whole year I was trying to learn about promotion. It was taking me like three, four months just to get a thousand. And now I'm getting like 10,000 plays on the song. And one of the things that I learned is it's not about chasing a million people. Right. Actually, at the end of right, the day, right. it's actually about rocking with your people and letting them know that you value exactly. them and how important it is for them to just keep coming right. back. Just like brushing your teeth every day. Mm -hmm. It's not, it ain't rocket science. Right. But it's one thing that everybody does every day that I know that's successful. We brush our teeth every right. day. You want to do the same thing, whether you're going to college, whether you drop, dropping out of college, I'm not recommending you do that, but do something that is your routine that people right. know you for, right. and you'll be all right. And college can't give that to you, but an employer can't give that to you either. Right. And also, go. I would say you got to add to that that they should go when they're ready. Cause I wasn't ready until I was like 27, 20. I was too much into the nonsense mm -hmm. until I grew up a little bit more. Absolutely. And then I, I got my my associate's degree, and I mean, the best thing I got out of it was meeting new people, like you said. Exactly. Cause life lessons turn into real lessons. You know what I mean? Like, you still know I mean, some of the people you met around that time. I'm in not life? that I, I'm not that hospitable, let's say. <laughs> so I really didn't uh, build like that. I, I built most of my contacts are through hip hop. But um, yeah. I, I still talk to my homie from back in the days where before I went to college, we went to the New Eurekan together, right, you know, right, for the right, first right, time. Right. Like, we did all these yeah. things, and we still build almost every day. Shout That's out to Undercover. Up. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I became a little bit more introspective. Mm -hmm. And um, since I have the computer and I do all the artwork, I, I just chill at home. I mean, uh, when you do grumpy. this, <laughs> when you do this and this and this, like, you could be introspective. But I mean, it's, it's, that's hip hop. Right. I mean, and different you, elements for everybody. Like, I'm more extroverted, uh -huh. so talking was my thing anyway. Right. That's right. why I'm on the mic, you know what I mean? But you could, if you're an artist, you express yourself through the pen. You don't have to mm. talk as much. You know what I mean? If you if you are if you a breaker, mm. you know what I'm saying? You use that physical movement. Right. So they sometimes the, the dancers is more extroverted than me, but right. not with their mouth, right. with their body. Right. I got you. I speak through you know my pen. I, I got what you're saying. That's what's up. That that's. That's crazy. That's education. <laughs> people that's, don't really. You, you making me speeches. That's hip crazy. Hip hop got principles and elements. You know, I tell yeah, yeah. people all the time. Shout out to DJ Boo. We got a track um, with Macau Amin. He's also a hip hop educator. He does like art word, urban art beat and everything. YG and all them. And, um, YG. You know what I'm saying? That's the dude right there. Word. And like, it's, uh, it's called Plus. Right, DJ Boo, he was a DJ for the Juggernauts, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He also DJs at the International Hip Hop Festival. Mm -hmm. And PLUS is an acronym, peace, love, unity, safely having fun. That's mm -hmm. a plus. Those are the principles of hip hop. So when I go into colleges, like I told you, I lectured at Yale, all yeah. these different colleges, and I say, what is hip hop? And you'd be surprised, you say sex, drugs, violence, money, people be like, that's hip hop. Mm -hmm. But it's actually peace, love, unity, yeah, having, having fun. fun. Yeah. Sex, drugs, violence, and money are just limited versions of those principles. They're strategies for people to get those principles. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you could oppress somebody with sex. You can't oppress somebody with love. You could oppress somebody with money. You can't oppress them with unity. So once you realize that money is a limited form of connecting with people, when you don't have money, like us in the hood with hip hop, you could still get in that cypher. You right. could still work with people in exchange. Yeah. Yo, you feeling that knowledge, man? It's making me warm in here, man. <laughs> that's, that, that's what in it this is. this cold winter. That's what it is. We're going to have him perform another song, and then we're going to come right back. Yes, sir. Cause I mainly wasted my energy Money and time So when I got more I would just pay more fines Need an addiction Where to Washington go for the broke man Go down even more for rich and start keeping Your Joneses in check Ain't trying to keep up with the Jones The Jones in debt Now I'm in a different position But I won't forget Giving up my old attitude I don't regret I'm self righteous Talking about what I deserve Before I earned it An arrogant brother with nerve It'd be a front To say this is not enough I got so much I already got enough It'd be 
a front To say I don't want some more Adore what I had so much I got some more Back when I thought I never had enough I never had the stuff Cause even when I had stuff That was never enough Meaning even when my numbers went up I had it rough No matter how I added It's not what you giving, it's what you give Instead of fly whip sitting in garages, my car's driven Instead of talking about what I got, I'm living When I'm involved, you get 100% commitment So many men and women physically disabled Mentally unstable, in a miserable state When they try to come to the table In their honor, I'ma do what they can't do So I'm grateful to be ready, willing and able Energy go where attention flow So when you lack it, it goes When you have it, it grows And Mr. Cracks in the concrete What I planted a rose What I planted a rose Got so much, I already got enough To be a front To say I don't want some more Adore what I have so much I got some more To be a front To say this is not enough I got so much, I already got enough To be a front To say I don't want some more Adore what I have so much I got some more Meanwhile, now I see How the Jones miss step from flashing what they can get for they earned it yet. I'd rather make sure I earn what I yearn to get. Cause what's a king size bed on the curb in debt? So now I pay every bill on time, if not earlier to late. Very still on what's mine, preferring to own my own home. Instead of getting the victim, living out in the cold with some high priced furniture. Miserable company and things fade in the back when you focus on the kings and queens. Easier than I thought. Though I used to think different, flossing when I could have bought some equipment. Instead of spending energy on convincing, reach high speed of light they see in the distance. Abundance actually come from within, not trying to prove it to them. You just actually win. It'd be a front to say this is not enough. I got so much, I already got enough. It'd be a front to say I don't want some more. Adore what I have so much, I got some more. All that approval before I was trying to get the material things just left me dying in debt. You see abundance is everywhere on this earth Letting go of what I think I know Going to where what works Eat less than I burn, spend less than I earn, spread knowledge But only teach less than I learn Eat less than I burn, spend less than I earn, spread knowledge But only teach less than I learn back yes, yo he sir. killed it again man i can't thank you uh more more hip-hop abundance that, that's you got me speechless man you got me your rhymes make me speechless like when you was at that 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 jam the other day the uh 90 now yeah you killed that man i was like yeah, damn man. yo good company lower this, velocity yeah, forget the. i mean not you know forget I mean? but Take some praise, brother. Yes, you, sir. You got it. You got it yes, going sir. on with that, man. Thank you, man. I, I want to ask you about element. <laughs> definitely. Exactly. Everybody picks their element. I believe it or not, I tried to be a b boy at first. Okay. And then I didn't like being in the crowd, so and I wasn't as you know agile and stuff. So I went to writing. I'm a frustrated DJ. You know what I'm saying? Like I try and make I make my you, own mix. You knew how stuff. to hop them turnstiles and, and yeah, pull yeah, out markers. Exactly, quick. exactly. <laughs> make my own markers and all of that. It, the, right. Every element has its own culture and subculture. Hip hop is incredible. But right. when you was at Yale, how, how was the reception at Yale? Like, what was the makeup of the class? That's a like, great question because the first time I lectured at Yale, I had this preconceived notion of like everybody's gonna be super brilliant and like right. say these interesting things and mm -hmm. we're gonna explore the world of right. this the topic in a new way and the class was mostly dead you know right. what i mean it was two students that really was active in asking some interesting questions mm -hmm. and um i've come to see that a lot of like i've done workshops and shows at a lot of the top art schools in the mm. tri-state area okay. and it's the same thing you go into art school a lot of times it's it's dead you know what i mean because it's like once you're in yale or harvard right you have the title but a lot of times when people get a title they lose the power right to to empower you it's like we said you brush your teeth every day mm -hmm. you don't oh i brushed my teeth last week right you brush your teeth every day same thing you get into yale you get a privileged position to be known for your mind you got to use your mind more. right 
art school you got to use it yeah, yeah. me as an mc and that's one thing hip-hop never lets you do like in hip-hop you could be dope mm -hmm. you know what i mean all day every day and then the next day you still got to show and prove again right right you know right. what i mean you can't just say i rocked the cypher last right, tuesday right. well that you know that, what i'm saying that's true with the hip-hop that me and you like absolutely <laughs> but but look even uh -huh. krs right uh -huh. KRS would battle someone like Nelly. Right. Most KRS fans is like, why are you even battling right, him? Right? right? We, we think one, it's yeah. not. But he granted that. Right. And that's him. Like, we can't stop him doing that. And a lot of people said, well, maybe Nelly won that. Maybe KRS won. KRS was like, either way, you're now initiated into like how we do it in hip hop. Right. You can't be afraid to battle someone, whether they're older, younger, right. whether they're a different right. generation. So that's. That's basically what that was. Right. I, I, uh, to put more on what you're saying, I've learned not to make fun of or call other cats that, that are starting out with their writing. I don't call them toys or nothing like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get involved with that. I'm not down with the crews or anything like that. Because, like, you, you got to nurture that. Because somebody Absolutely. might not know the styles. They might not know the, the, the you know, with, with graph, the letters speak. Like, you're doing on the microphone the letters of the funk. And it's got to have movement, color, you know. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So it's all related, man. And you Like know, as an MC, it's uh -huh. not words. If we were just talking, that would be what everybody does. It's right. the way we use the words. Right. You know, for graph, it's not the the symbols. It's the way you, you move right. the symbols. And that's that's what I did. Those two, those two, I still remember them two kids in, the, in that first Yale class I did. I did mm -hmm. so many classes since then, hundreds mm -hmm. of different classes, but... Um, this was like years ago, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I remember them and I did what you said. I nurtured those two. That's what's up. Instead of focusing on like complaining about the rest of them, like, oh, right. y'all supposed to be Yale. I don't do that. Right. I'm like, oh, that's dope. Yeah, da, da, da. what else do you know, right. right? And then that led to us doing an album. I did an album with them kids, you know what I mean? See? One of them was from the West Coast. So mm -hmm. I ended up on a West Coast style album that I wouldn't have been on because of those kids, but I encouraged them, right. you know what I'm saying? Um, so shout out to the sky beneath. Uh, we did a track called MLK Day. Wow. Before people was even doing it. Since then, Will I Am has an MLK song. Wow. Common. We did that. And I remember when we first posted that up, it was a, we used to have like the message boards, the hip hop message boards, you know what I mean? And people would beef on there. And people was like, how you gonna make a song about MLK and you selling out MLK? And it was like, nah, we representing MLK. Okay. Hip hop is how we express what's important to us, mm -hmm. and it was controversial just to do that. And now it's mad MLK songs. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? No that but, came from me acknowledging those two kids that saw their privilege and yeah. Because privilege isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It's when you don't recognize your privilege that right. we have problems. And that's what's going on today. Yes. But some of the best shows I've ever seen have been when there's like five people in the audience. Word. You know what I'm saying? Because people Word. really, I do know. they rip it, man. I, I, I do mean, know. So I know exactly what you're talking about. Some of my highest paid shows wasn't my favorite shows. Right, right. But they, they helped me be able to afford going to the less paid right, shows right. and still so pay the bills. Tell, tell what music you got coming out. I I got um on by the time this drops December uh so chapter twelve will be out. You gonna okay. hear a snippet of that now. Word. But um it's the last chapter in this album Self Control. Mm. Self control is a story. It's based on me starting completely confused and frustrated in life. Mm -hmm. And every chapter, I call them chapters instead of songs. Since okay. Story, That's what's up. Every chapter is a little bit more awareness, a little bit more personal self-suffice responsibility for your community. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like I said earlier, it took me like months just to get a thousand plays on some songs. Mm -hmm. Now, chapter nine, I got... Um, Chapter 10, I got like 10,000 plays. Chapter 11, I got over 10,000 plays. Um, I really learned to apply the things that I was writing. Like, did you ever express yourself in art? Mm -hmm. You look back at it later and you learn something from it? Yeah, of course. You see things that you didn't, you know, you weren't, that didn't know went in there and say, yeah, of course. It's like, man. who did this? Like, yeah, yeah, how right. did I know? But you be in that zone, that mm -hmm. flow state. So now, as I'm promoting these singles one by one, I'm actually listening and learning from myself. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, I, chapter 11, it just came out, right? Mm -hmm. The 10,000 plays. Um, again, I keep saying it because I'm now doing a course mm -hmm. where I'm showing other independent artists how to do it the right way. Because a lot of things you learn how to do in promotion. You're giving back. I'm giving back. And it's like they teach you. Mm -hmm. Like when you pay people to promote your music, mm -hmm. they have you get a lot of fake listeners, fake fans. And that actually teaches algorithms 
not to play you. Oh, wow. Because imagine you have a million people play your song right. one time and they don't mess with you. Right. You just taught the algorithm that people don't like your song. That's oh. worse than having a hundred people listen to your song one wow. time. But if you got your people, whether it's oh. 10 people, 20, 100 people, you know what I mean? I mm-hmm. got like a few hundred real fans. And if I just focus on them, mm-hmm. then I'll gradually, slowly grow more fans. But they play my music over and over because they live it. They right. get the message in the music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that's what it is. Like chapter 11 was about abundance. Mm-hmm. And since I'm going through and learning from my own music, I was looking forward to chapter 11. Mm-hmm. I'm like, we got out chapter one and chapter two in the heart. I'm looking uh-huh. forward to abundance. I'm gonna get money. Right. Everything's gonna work out. Yo, I got to chapter 11, a gig got canceled. Uh-huh. I lost thousands of dollars. Wow. My phone broke. All these things happened. And me going back and looking at my art, like we all should do as artists, mm-hmm. as, as students of what we put out there, mm-hmm. I had to take personal accountability. And it was two things I said in the song. Mm-hmm. One, abundance isn't about getting more money and more things to you. Right. Abundance is about making more of what you have. Right. And two, it's about not keeping up with the Joneses. Right. If you can't let go of the idea of showing mm-hmm. what abundance looks like to other people, you'll never have abundance because abundance never looks like and mm. feels like what it does to other people. Word up. It's, yo, dropping knowledge. Yes, Where sir. can people find your stuff? Um, Spotify is the main place. If okay. you go to Rap Poet or Rap Poet, however you okay. want to say it, but 1P, rappoet.com slash stream, okay. I always have my newest links to my music right there. Word. And then from there, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, hit okay. me up, I respond. All like. Word, word. He does respond. He responds right away. Professional right here. <laughs> Spent time, pay dues, been burnt till I earn What can't be given, can't be learned The deep truth you need to learn most I could teach you, but only you can teach self Let these Jews reach you Hold what can be sold, can't be told I don't control your show, show you crowd control If I told them I love you, would it make you lovable? I tell you about the struggle, now you've been through the struggle too more than words, embody the secrets and the formulas Shed light on the earth that matter before the morning does Can tell you what's gonna happen before the warning does When I'm gone, I'll still be as present, if not even more than anybody that's wanting us Unfortunately, can't force you to receive what you're saying that you want from us But I can give you what you seem to need Pay attention and leave you what leading a horse to the water does I be where, be aware of where you be So be where
It's the rap poet. You know that's quoted. You see the poetry. But is it raw poet or is it the raw poet? You know, if you go back into Egyptian, you see the descriptions and the depictions and the hieroglyphics. I'm spitting specifically to let you know lyrically. Even when I'm sleeping, I spit soliloquies in my dreams. I be feeling the need to squeeze microphones and get these energies out of me so I could express across the land. So I got many fans. And matter of fact, it's not just Spotify. I got to identify my peeps like Send one. He been telling me to go on and flow on and show. Oh, my bad. Yo, I gotta run. Shout out to my brother John Robinson. I got a microphone, not a gun. We gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs>